Hi, fourth graders. I'm working on Zern's Tower of Power for lesson 31. We are adding mixed numbers. And I'm looking at my screen right now. I'm going to remind you whenever you're doing Zern and you are working by yourself, don't forget you have the option of clicking on audio to have it explained to you or read to you. And they are asking you to look at an equation here. So let's start this out. It says how many holes? So do that part first. So two plus three definitely equals five. And then it asks you how many fourths. So if you look at two fourths plus two fourths, I know that equals four fourths. Now, if you know fractions, you already know that four fourths also equals something else, but they don't want that yet. Um, they're now asking you to show the sum as a whole number. So remember that you were adding two fourths plus two fourths, you got four fourths. That's one whole. So five plus one whole is six. And just enter that. So these are the main ideas for lesson 31. Let's try another one. Keep climbing. All right, so I'm going to add the ones. Of course, what does that equal? Two. Now I'm going to add the sevens. So six plus four. Hmm, that's ten. So, and I think. You guys should know this by now, but on the bottom, you don't add the denominator. Remember that? So 2 and 10 sevenths, but there's something funny about that 10 sevenths. They're going to ask us to decompose that into a whole and fraction parts. So they would like us to add that together down below to equal the 10 sevenths. So think about what else is missing down here. They want you to think of that in sevenths. We'll click on seven sevenths. Now they're going to ask us to do one extra thing. If you ever get confused, go back and reread the directions. It asks you to solve the problem after you decompose it. So make sure you're going up and down if you get mixed up about what to do. Okay, I had to do that too. And I know a lot of students get confused about directions because a lot of times there are many parts to the directions. Okay, so I'm going to go back and do a little thinking. I know two plus seven sevenths, that's like adding two plus one. So I'm going to say that's a three. Down below, I only see two answers with a three. Can you guess which one it is? Yeah, it's three and three sevenths. So let's make sure. Good work. Oh, we're getting up there. Keep climbing. Here's a new one. Now this time they're asking you to solve on paper. So see that part up there? I'm going to pause my video and let you try this one without me and we'll check your answer in just a minute. Okay, so I'm back and I'm going to show you my work right now. So I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. It might be backwards. Now I'm a little worried that it's backwards. Anyway, I added the whole numbers together and I got a four. And then I added the fractions together and I got eight sevenths. Is that what you got? I'm going to type it in. Four and eight. Oh, not 48, silly. Eight sevenths. So far, so good. Let's see what they want us to, oh, I didn't even have to do the rest. Look at all the extra work I did. What? This was an easy one. Congratulations. All right, go see if you can do it without me. They might be a little different, but I know you can do it. Don't forget to decompose. Let's see if I can change how I'm sharing my screen. We're still getting used to all this. Anyway, don't forget to decompose. There we go. There I am. 
decompose your fraction when it's an improper fraction. So I have eight sevenths broken down into seven sevenths plus one seventh. I'm pretty sure it's backwards. <laughs> anyway, I went over here and I put four plus one plus one sevenths, and all together I got five and one sevenths. So hopefully that helps you guys when you're adding mixed numbers. And we will keep going with math with you. Good luck.